for a tip in the Seminole Heights killings is up to $110,000. And the police saturation in that area aimed at nabbing a killer, well, it's having another effect on the other bad guys in the neighborhood. Chip Osowski joins us now live from our Tampa newsroom with more on that part of the story. And Jen, we're talking about the time period of October 15th to November 15th in Seminole Heights. In 2015, there were 96 arrests. In 2016, that number dropped to 35 arrests. And this year, 137 arrests. Officer Sarah Michelson, a foot soldier in TPD's Army patrolling Seminole Heights, proof positive there is no such thing as routine patrol. Hello, anybody here? Even an unlocked Police. open door is cause for concern, requiring a call for backup. Most who live and work in this area are well aware why police are here. You know, it's usually a pretty quiet community over here, but um, I find that everybody's just kind of like, we know what the focus is, they know what the focus is, and I feel like everybody's kind of doing this together. Others still don't have a clue. Officer Michelson recalls a woman she ran into who just been fighting with her boyfriend. She was like, yeah, well, you know, I don't, I just had to come over here and talk with him. We're like, yeah, but it's like, you know, still dawn. Do you know what's going on around here? And she's like, no, why? Like, she had no idea all of this was even going on. And Tampa police aren't carting every lawbreaker they run across to jail. They are ROR'ing those with minor violations. That means they are being released on their own recognizance. The bottom line is if you're going to commit crime, you may want to stay away from Seminole Heights. Live in the Tampa newsroom, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.